Hi friends, it's Miss Margaret. Most of you started class today. Some of you didn't, so we're gonna do a little virtual learning um, in my house still. So today we're gonna talk about um, a couple letters. <clears throat> Remember last week we talked about letters that have straight lines and letters that have curvy lines. So today we're gonna talk about the letter A. The letter A. And a fun thing that I thought that we could do today is I have some Play-Doh and we will use the Play-Doh to make the letter A. So if you remember, the letter A has three straight lines. It has a straight line down, a straight line down, and a straight line across. So I'm going to make three straight lines with my Play-Doh. So I'm just going to roll it with my hand, and you can roll it on the table too. I'm going to roll it out and try to make a straight line, as straight as you can. It's hard to do with Play-Doh. So there's my one straight line. There's my one straight line. I'm going to set it over here, and I'm going to roll with my hands again. Another straight line. I like to push the top down so it's a little bit straighter at the top. Now, I want to compare them. I want to put them next to each other and see if they are the same length. Are they the same? Are they the same length? One is longer, isn't it? And in order for us to make the letter A, we have to have two of the same length. So all I'm going to do is put them together and then I'm just going to use my finger and snip a piece off. So then we have two of the same straight lines, and I'm gonna put them together this way. Remember, the A goes this way, it goes kind of at a diagonal. So there's that, and then we need that one for the middle. And the one in the middle is not as long. Remember, it's a shorter line, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of Play-Doh, and I'm going to just roll out a little bit, And then I'm going to put it in the middle. So then I make, with my Play-Doh, the letter A. The letter A, like our friend Abel. A for Abel. The letter A. Let's see. What's another letter that has straight lines? Hmm. How about the letter X? Remember we talked about the letter X and it has two straight lines that crisscross in the middle. So how many do I need to make for the letter X? I need to make two. All right, so I'm gonna use my hands and I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna roll it out, roll it out. There's one. I'm gonna get some more Play-Doh. I'm gonna roll it out. Now, do you think the X should be the same length, both, both of the lines and the X? It should, so we're going to, oh, Miss Margaret did good that time. They're the same. They're equal. So then we're just going to put them together, and we're going to make an X. X, X. <clears throat> now, at home, if you have Play-Doh, you can practice and you can make the letters of your whole name. So whatever your name is, you can make the, the letters in your name. So if your name is Caleb, you can make the letters with Caleb. If your name is Faith, you can make the letters Faith out of Play-Doh. There are lots and lots of things that you can make with Play-Doh, lots of letters. So practice making letters with straight lines. Once you've made the letters with straight lines out of Play-Doh, have your parents take a picture and send it to us on Learning Genie. Also, you can walk around your house and you can carry that piece of Play-Doh around if your parents let you. You can carry it around and you can find that letter in your house. As I was making that, I looked around and I see one, two, three, four. I see four A's just on one sign in my house. Four A's. The X might be a little harder to find. But just take your time to make your shapes out of Play-Doh, to make your name out of Play-Doh, to make your letters out of Play-Doh, and practice your straight lines.